Well, at the fag end of Dryden's essay hmm. of dramatic poesy, there is one interesting controversy, and that is regarding the use and avoidance of rhymes. Correct. Would you please throw some light on this controversy? Yeah. The 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 debate, Dr. Barad, is is between the two characters, Crites uh, mm -hmm. and Dryden himself, Neander. Neander. Yeah. Now it's interesting because uh, the the neoclassical way of writing, the heroic couplet style of writing, mm -hmm. and Dryden himself being in this tradition writing plays mm. in verse. Yes. And therefore his mouthpiece, mm -hmm. Neander, mm -hmm. supports the writing of serious plays, tragedy, mm -hmm. in verse. Okay. Whereas Kreitz first says that see, this does not go at all with the opening part of our agreed definition mm -hmm. that nothing which is just and lively exactly. can be so artificial mm -hmm. that it takes up rhymes. Mm -hmm. Then there are a few other objections, some of them quite, uh, quite hilarious. For example, would anybody scold one's servant in rhyme right. yeah. okay or the repartee would yeah. that be in rhyme yeah. <laughs> and therefore he says this this kind of an artificiality the stress that is put on the playwright mm -hmm. to necessarily rhyme mm. uh, and write it in verse write the play in verse mm. takes away the naturalness the natural enactment mm -hmm of the play. Oh. Now Dryden, this is, this is when as students we read any work, we must also see where there can be certain loopholes. Mm -hmm. This is a place where Neander does defend, okay. but his defense sounds really weak. Okay. And in praxis, Mm. We have to remember that Dryden's most famous play, mm. All for Love, mm. is not in verse. Okay, interesting. <laughs> so he, he supports it here, then goes on to write a play mm -hmm. which is not in verse. So, so he seemed to have learnt mm -hmm. from this exercise mm. and that a play should be more natural. However, coming back to Neander's uh, defense, mm -hmm. as to say, he says that he agrees that only he would only include serious plays in the ambit. Okay. And he would say, he, he says he, uh, that the adding of the rhyme in it, the verse in it, actually increases the grandeur. Okay. The grandeur of the thought, mm -hmm. the, the grandeur of the action that is there and therefore it matches the seriousness of the play. Okay. So that seems to be overriding, mm -hmm. I mean two strong reasons as I read it comes out from Neander's defense. Okay. One is this, that Although Christ call it, calls it artificiality, mm -hmm. Neander says, well, s these scenes can be avoided by the playwright. Okay. In, 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 a, in a serious play, there will not be a scene of somebody scolding the, mm -hmm. the servant. Yeah. Such scenes can be avoided. avoided yeah. Only the intensity of uh, you know what Aristotle says that tragedy is the depiction of life which is better than mm. what is being lived. Mm -hmm. That tragic character is better mm. than ourselves. So in that heightened stage of a representation of a portrayal, one uses verse because it further heightens mm. the effect. Okay. And secondly, agreeing the fact that yes it is artificial but it will depend upon the craft of the playwright to write it in verse in such a way 
that what Kreitz begins with objecting to the first half of the definition, Neander takes the last half of the definition mm -hmm. and he says the ultimate goal is yeah. to provide uh, delight, delight, delight yeah. pleasure. Mm. And therefore, when a, a, a viewer then he listens to the rhymes, he enjoys the rhyme and he will derive more pleasure. pleasure yeah. So, in a serious performance, mm. that part will add to the pleasure of it. Pleasure of it yeah. So, with this, I think he Neander tries to close off the argument, yeah. but as, as we just mentioned, yeah. this is in a way a weak argument. Weak argument. And uh, in his own life then, Dryden seems to have moved on and not followed. Mm -hmm. uh, his own strongest character here, Neander, advocating rhyme, advocating verse. Interesting. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.